And so what I do is, so the one-liner is form generation processes that are informed by material properties and behavior. And what that means is... Cocktail <laughs> 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 party? So, so that's the elevator pitch. <laughs> so, what that means essentially, and, and I'll talk more about it later as Danielle raises other questions, but what that means is trying to come up with a different way of thinking about the design of things uh, around us, of products, um, wearables, buildings, um, and instead of thinking about their form, thinking about their structural performance and environmental performance and starting to think how the form, rather than thinking about the form of something, you think about it as the byproduct of understanding its performance and how it should or needs to, to behave in space um, as most natural systems do, uh, such as trees, for instance. The way things work right now is that uh, for those of you who have been to the Chanel Mobile Art Pavilion by Zaha, or to those of you who have been to the marvelous Bilbao um, by Frank Gehry, those are great architects, but there's a whole generation of wonderful architects that are formalists that design buildings determined by their shape and then throw that shape to the engineer, whether structural environmental engineer, and then tell him, okay, this is the form, now work it out. Um, and what I'm trying to do is bring cer certain of these engineering values into the design process such that when you think about form, you're already incorporating those performance criteria um, in the process of the generation of forms. Okay, this is a grand and noble cause but, or goal, but how do you get it done? And how you get it done is by eroding disciplinary boundaries. Um, there are enough people at MIT which build them, so... <laughs> So I'm there to erode them, and I think that uh, uh, I think that you know if I'm capable if I'm capable to uh, build tools that mechanical engineers um, uh, that mechanical the mechanical engineers or computer science use to build for me as a service, then um, they're capable they ca are very much capable of design thinking and artistic and creative and um, a, a different kind of a different kind of approach to their disciplines.